Okay, welcome to a tour of your Blackboard course. Please take a look at the menu and buttons on the left side of your screen in Blackboard. Now if you don't see anything, the menu is collapsed. Just take your mouse and run from bottom to top along the left margin. And you will see an arrow light up. Select the arrow and you will see the menu. The menu contains a list of buttons or tabs as follows. The first one is accessibility statements. This is a reminder to students with disabilities that it is not necessary to view these contents in this modality or format. Pursuant to the Americans with Disabilities Act, all materials available here are also made available in various formats. Just see me for additional assistance. Toward that end, I have included accessibility statements for YSU, Blackboard, Cengage, which is the publisher of your required text for this course, and YouTube. Next is the Start Here tab. This tab will give a course overview, introduce your instructor, present the minimum technical requirements for this course, list available student services, and then of course give you a tour of your Blackboard course. It's also nice to go back here from time to time if you have some basic questions and can't recall um, how to do something simple this is a good place to go. Syllabus and schedule. Here you will find the most updated versions of your syllabus and schedule for this course. So keep an eye on this tab to make sure you are looking at the most updated version in case you've printed one out. Daily announcements. Here you will see the most recent announcements that I have posted. Announcements are posted several times a week regarding new assignments, deadline reminders, or changes in the schedule. These announcements should also reach you by email, but be sure to regularly check Blackboard in case you do not receive the daily announcements by email. Next is weekly lessons. Each week you will find a folder containing your coursework for that week. It is important that you work throughout the week to give yourself enough time to master the content and successfully complete the assignments. APA lessons. Here you will find resources to help with APA documentation from formatting to in-text citations to the references page or pages. These lessons are included in your weekly lessons but are compiled here for your convenience. Discussion forums. Discussion forums are an opportunity to well, speak to one another in the course, especially in an online course, and share ideas with your classmates about your coursework. Sometimes I, as the instructor, will weigh in, but I do try not to interfere with your individual impressions, and I look to you to help your classmates with challenging content. Usually these forums are graded, and there is a rubric to guide your progress. Blackboard provides a helpful video um, I provide that video and transcript in week one for how to post and reply in discussion forums in Blackboard. I post discussion forum assignments in your weekly lessons, but you can also find all of the forums in this tab for your convenience. Major assignments. Although the prompts for all major assignments will be in the weekly course information, you can also find the prompts quickly by selecting this button. And that's the same for minor assignments. Although the prompts for all minor assignments will be in the weekly course information, you can also find the prompts quickly by selecting this button. 
my grades. You can check on your grades throughout the course by selecting this link. Please, please contact me immediately if you see any errors. Do not hesitate to contact me. If you see the dash symbol, that means you did not submit an assignment. The symbol exclamation point means that you did submit the assignment, but I've not graded it yet. If you see a blue circle, that means that there was an internet interruption and your assignment was not transmitted. If you see this circle, text me, well, I guess email me immediately so that I can clear your submission and you can try again. It is your responsibility to keep up with these issues. Rubrics. For each major assignment and some of your other minor assignments, including discussion forums, you will be given a rubric. A rubric breaks down each goal for an assignment and assigns points for that goal based upon the student's success in achieving that goal. From the student's standpoint, you can refer to the rubric as a sort of checklist during your drafting process to make sure you are focusing on each of the goals in the assignment. When you receive your score, you can immediately see the specific strengths and weaknesses of your performance. Web links, web links for 1551. Here you will find helpful resources to assist you with your coursework. I put in the Purdue OWL. It's a popular website offering assistance with all writing assignments for any course, easy to use references for documentation styles such as MLA, APA, Chicago, and help with grammar, syntax, and sentence structure. The YSU Writing Center is located in the MOG Library and provides live and online tutors to help with any writing project. The MOG Library website is the place to start for research and writing projects. You can search the online journal finder, the research databases, and there's a special web page on the site for 1551 students. So I've provided these links to those pages as well for quick access. In this tab, you will also find links to the YSU Tech Desk and Disability Services for quick reference. So that's it. Um, there is also, incidentally, Blackboard Tools. Here you will find links to many of our menu items, such as My Grades and the course blog. Um, the email link is also in this tab that you can use to find your classmates' email addresses. Help with Blackboard. This tab contains countless tutorials about how to use Blackboard. Every function that you will perform in Blackboard is explained here. If you need help finding a tutorial, please contact me for assistance. Okay. So what to do next? Well, take some time to browse through the Blackboard course and look inside all of the tabs that I have just discussed. The more familiar you are with this Blackboard course, the easier it will be to complete your weekly coursework. Once you've browsed through the Blackboard course, you are ready to begin. Go to the weekly lessons and get started with week one. So there you are. I look forward to working with you over the next 16 weeks. Enjoy yourself.